an average Saturday stroll for this group of friends in Tokyo. They're part of a subculture known as Zentai, whose members like to slip into spandex in their spare time. And the Tokyo Zentai Club is looking to get more recruits. We organize a lot of events. Anyone can try the suit they like. There's something for everyone. Our goal is to introduce Zentai to as many people as possible. For them, Zentai is a form of sexual liberation. They say the sensation of touch is amplified tenfold by the material. And with their faces covered, the Zentai practitioners lose all inhibitions. The suits are tailor-made, sometimes costing hundreds of dollars. This young school teacher has six of them, but for her, it's well worth the cost. The feeling of having your body touched, the hands, the face covered by this material, it's unique, it's an irresistible pleasure. Combining the words Zenshin and Taitsu, Zentai literally means full body suit. Amori Alice was a pioneer of the movement, which was born in the 1980s when suited superheroes like Power Rangers and Bioman were popular television shows. I started 19 years ago. No one understood. I searched in vain to find others to join me. And then thanks to the internet, I finally found others who did the same as me. But this is still a niche pastime. It's estimated there are only around 100 Zentai practitioners in Japan of all ages and backgrounds. For this psychology professor, it's not just a sexual fetish, it's a means of communication. Even if the face is hidden, it's a form of reverse exhibitionism. The practitioner hides their identity, but at the same time feel like they are revealing their inner personality. Whether a means of expression or fashion fad, the members of the Tokyo Zentai Club say they aren't looking for their hobby to become mainstream. All they want is a few more friends to stroke, caress and cuddle.